What's up guys, welcome back to Nuts and Bolts Auto and today I'm working on my Ranger. Recently I've been trying to find a leak on this truck. I've just been leaving a puddle overnight and it doesn't want to leak while it's running. I was gonna do a coolant system pressure test but one day in the morning I just opened up the hood and took a look at it and it seems that there's a crack somewhere right along there on the radiator. Now this would be the second time that we replaced this radiator so there must be something going on either it's just really bad luck or we have comp uh, compression from the engine leaking into the cooling system now how would that happen you could have a bad head gasket that would be leaking the compression into the cooling system you could also have a crack in the head or a crack in the block and it would basically be doing the same thing other than that it could be that I just got a bad radiator the second time and that's what I'm hoping for but we're gonna take a look and see what's up so to test for combustion gases I bought this Maddox combustion leak detector from Harbor Freight and it was right around $25 along with this you need to get yourself a combustion leak test fluid this is a block tester brand to do this test you need to remove this cap. By the way, before you take the cap off, you want to make sure that your cooling system is cold. You don't want to do this on a hot engine because this will just blow up in your face. With the cap off, you want to take a look inside and make sure that you have at least two or three inches with no antifreeze. The reason why is because the tester goes right here and you don't want the coolant to mix with the test fluid. So once you've made sure that the coolant isn't all the way to the top. So you wanna put this on there and fill it with the test fluid up to the line. Once you filled it with the test fluid, you put this little bulb on top and then you start sucking. And it has a check valve at the bottom and this has a check valve on top. So when you squeeze it and pull it, it's gonna pull a vacuum right here and it's gonna suck up air basically into the tester and it's gonna mix it with the fluid. If the fluid turns yellow in a gasoline engine, that means that it's detected combustion gases. I'm assuming hydrocarbons onto this and then it'll turn yellow. And if you have a diesel engine and you're trying to do the same test, it'll turn green. Now it's really important that when you're doing this test, you're doing it with a hot engine afterwards. So basically it's going to start off cold. I'm going to set this here and put the, the fluid in there and turn on the engine. Once the engine reaches operating temperature, that's when you're going to start sucking the air in because as long as the thermostat is closed, basically your radiator isn't even running, like the coolant is staying inside the block. So even if there was combustion gases leaking into the, the antifreeze, it would stay inside the block until the thermostat opens and allows it to go into the radiator. So now to get started, I'm just going to grab a turkey baster, pull up the coolant, and put it into this container. So now that I pulled the level down, I'm just gonna wipe wipe it down a little bit, make sure there's no coolant that's gonna get sucked up into the tool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and run the truck up to operating temperature and the coolant level will go up a little bit as it expands. So I'm gonna suck it out as I need to. And then once I see that the engine's at operating temperature, I'm gonna stick the tester in there and test the gases so now with the truck on just let it run till it's up op operating temperature so here we are the trucks at operating temperature and I did have to suck some of the coolant out of here because the coolant did start expanding as soon as the thermostat opened now with the truck still running I can put on the tester So now with the fluid at the level, you want to make sure that this is nice and snug up against where the radiator cap goes. You want to put the bulb up here with the metal check valve facing out and you want to keep squeezing it for one minute. So there you go after a minute you can still see that my test fluid is blue now what did start happening towards the end 
is that it started sucking up the antifreeze. As the engine's running, the fluid level keeps rising. From the moment that you suck out the coolant right there and you put this on there to go ahead and test it, you really only have that one minute to do your test. But I was able to get the full minute with the proper level on there and I was sucking it up and it never changed color. So I'm good to go. But if you would have seen yours to turn yellow, that means that you have combustion gases in your coolant. If while you're doing this test, you start seeing that the fluid level starts coming up, just keep in mind that that means that you're starting to suck coolant into the tester and this fluid is no longer good and you have to redo the test. So here I am at the exhaust and basically this is going to prove like what would happen if you did have gases. As you can see, it's starting to turn yellow. So there you go guys, with that being done, you'd now be able to test if you have a blown head gasket or a cracked head or cracked block. In my case, I'm glad that I didn't have any of those problems. So it must have been a bad radiator. Now I can go ahead and buy the radiator and get to replacing it. I hope this video helped you guys out and hope you guys liked it. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe and all those other goodies. Thank you.